Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Thursday, October 17th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Isworth for Longmont Public Media. Thursday, October 24th is our third quarter moon in the morning sky. Saturday, uh, halfway through the forecast period, sunrise is slipped all the way to 7.15 a.m., sunset to 6.41 p.m. Uh, we'll get the time change and things will alter, but uh, yeah, we're starting to get a lot more nighttime. The sun is pretty quiet. These sunspots here are in the position that would hit Earth pretty directly, um, but they are not doing anything at the moment. Looking at drought conditions from last week to this week, Things are getting worse. We're getting dry around Longmont, especially with extreme drought now in place. Keep watering your trees, so don't, don't neglect that. And looking nationwide, with two thirds of the nation kind of in a perpetual heat wave, it's just crispy, it's just dry, uh, it's everywhere. <clears throat> looking at smoke conditions, looking at the beginning of the forecast, we have some smoke sitting around, but with the uh, system coming in, with fresh Canadian air, uh, we do get cleaned out. Over the last seven days, very little rain showers have occurred, but it's better than zero. Um, there's a, at least a tiny sprinkling happening. Thursday, there is now a chance of convection all the way out to the eastern plains. Nothing severe. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, we have a marginal risk down in eastern New Mexico and just a general chance of thunderstorms uh, with the incoming system, our first chance of rain in a long time. Here's Saturday with continued chance of convection. Uh, this map always overdoes the snow uh, mixed precipitation, I, but so we're, we really don't expect mixed precipitation here in Longmont, but there are chances of showers on Thursday Friday, uh, even heavy snow in a few locations up in the mountains. And then Saturday, the snow chances continue in the mountains with heavy rain down here as this front just kind of stalls. And tropical moisture just funnels up in that very narrow area. Our normal high temperatures are dropping from 65 to 61. With the 80s so recently, it just seems kind of crazy. Um, nighttime temperature is 36 down to 33. So next video we will have the normal temperature below freezing so i might want to start thinking about those outdoor pipes here's our chance of rain pretty certain from friday afternoon through saturday a little bit into sunday maybe uh, moisture is increasing in the west the clouds with the uh, approaching system out here real really dry air out in the plains in the southeast with the cold front there so Saturday noon, the storm system's getting its act together with a low forming here, warm front, or cold front down here, and it'll spread precipitation across the state. So let's put this in motion. That's driven by this big trough that becomes a cutoff low, and that's what allows it to hang around for a little bit. The focus of it is a little further south, though. So south is going to get more of the precipitation as this rolls over than northern Colorado. That's too bad. That's where we need it. And this dreaded ridge just comes right back with a high center down here. Uh, little ripples coming by, but the western two-thirds of the nation are still right under the ridge come a whole week later. So this is our chance for the next 10 days, next 14 days. There's the heat getting pushed aside by the cold front coming in. It doesn't get very far. You can see it kind of parks right through there. It stays in the southwest. It pushes a little bit into western Kansas and the panhandles. But really quickly, the warm air starts to take over again. And into the end of next week, we are still way above normal. That's really a lot. Uh, above normal. That's 12 degrees, 16 degrees above normal. For <coughs> precipitatable water, we have a fair amount of um, moisture being pulled into the system. I just wish it would rain more, so we're not expecting uh, records except maybe down here where the front stalls. And for dew points, just briefly, we do have 40 dew points pull into the system. There's 50s. 
sneaking in out on the plains. Right, right there's 50s, just pushing back to about I-25. And then we have 40s, and there's 20s and 30s coming back out into the plains at the beginning of next week. So put this in motion with the storm system. It comes in, lots of snow out in Utah and Wyoming. Then we get this sloppy mess with the heavier stuff down south and this amazing focus of precipitation in the very southeast corner and into New Mexico. We'll have some floody conditions there. And then it just stays dry. So I'll save us some time and sum it up. So for the next five days, up here around Cheyenne, Fort Collins, we may see dry spots along I-25, quarter of an inch or less. Down in the south, an inch or more for the southern counties. That's crazy. Five, six inches, seven inches in that little spot. Yeah, that's really wet. For the mountains, the higher elevations may see a foot or two, but it's going to be having to be pretty high right in the foothills. One, two, three inches. That's about it. But you should see a dusting linger for a day. Over the next 10 days, the map really doesn't change because there really isn't anything else coming in in the following five days. So we're in the 70s, dropping to below normal for a couple days, 50s, and I'm going to put it high on Saturday in the upper 40s. Best chance of rain is Friday night into early Saturday morning and then kind of tapering off through Saturday and maybe a sprinkle on Sunday. So week two, beyond our forecast, we finally see some coolness in the Pacific Northwest, but we're still expected to be above normal overall and near normal in precipitation with more moisture to our north and northwest. That's it. Keep hoping for more rain, but that's what I've got to give you. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Nunsworth urging you to keep looking up.